hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jelly. This is Jelly's Corner, and this is the update, okay? Look, we have been waiting on bated breath, okay? And finally, some of y'all nosy folks, okay, including myself, is getting what they have been asking for. Now, Jimmy Fox, as we know, was hospitalized back in April for a medical complication. Why we never got any direct information about what it was. We have been hearing things here and there since April. Well, Jamie Foxx is now finally speaking on camera directly to his supporters, okay? Jamie put a post on his IG page today, and we're going to discuss it, okay? But y'all know to do a couple of things already. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment, and share because it's the thing to do, okay? Now, it's late. It is 2 o'clock in the morning, so I look tired. <laughs> uh, Jamie Foxx put it up on his page, I think about an hour ago, Um, he put it up. So, it was 1 o'clock my time, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go to bed, but let me get up and just show y'all so y'all can get it in the morning or overnight. I'm not going to premiere this. It'll be up in about 15 minutes. Um, However, Jamie put it up. Okay, a whole post, a whole video, because so many people kept saying, why doesn't he come and speak us? Why does he do a video? Why this and why that? And it seems like Jamie heard all of y'all and said, okay, I will give you what you're asking for. Okay, so let's get into Jamie's actual video. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that's prayed, man, and sent me messages I cannot even begin to tell you um, how, how far it took me and how, how it brought me back. Um, uh, I went through something that I, I thought I would never ever go through. Uh, and I know a lot of people were waiting, you know, or wanting to hear updates, but to be honest with you, I just didn't want you to see me like that, man. You know, I want you to see me laughing, having a good time, partying cracking a joke, doing a movie, television show. I didn't want you to see me with uh, with tubes uh, running out of me and and trying to figure out uh, if if I was gonna make it through. And so while a lot of people were speculating, requesting the video, requesting come and talk. I feel like he's saying things without having to say things. Anyone that knows, once you're in the hospital, they have tubes in and out. You really don't want people to see you that way. That does more speculation more than anything else. Um, what I want to say is, you can look at his face and see him saying he's a bit different. You can hear his voice. He's a bit winded, meaning he's still getting better. And I think, you know, the fact that this happened back in April is coming kind of July. So it's been about three months. So clearly he's still building up his energy, building up his strength, but at least he felt comfortable enough to come talk to us and him just telling people, like, I did not do a video because I did not want anyone seeing me like that. You know, we have seen other stars in the past who are in the hospital with tubes up and down, in and out or whatever, and they holding the hand up or they're waving and all of that. But you then have that memory and that image of them. So him like, I didn't want y'all to see me that way. Okay? And to be honest with you, my uh, my sister, Deidre Dixon, my daughter, Corinne Marie, saved my life. So uh, to them, to God, to a lot of great medical people, uh, I'm able to leave you this uh, video. The fact that a lot of people was criticizing his his daughter, his family, his team, because a lot of people felt like, oh, they're not giving us enough information. I think that's his way of saying, it's only my opinion now, I think that's his way of saying, they saved my life. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't trying to do what y'all wanted them to do. They were not concerned with making sure y'all knew how I was. They were making sure that I was okay. You know, my daughter and my sister saved my life by the grace of God. And, and my thing is, I think he heard everything we were saying. He heard it, seen it, read it eventually. 
and he's directly responding to all because some folks he's a clone is it new is it oh no he's directly responding to things that has been said the past three months i cannot tell you how great it feels to have your family kick in in such a way and, and y'all know they kept it airtight they didn't let nothing out they protected me and that's what i hope that everyone could have in moments like these again they protected me because in the moment of those traumatic situations or whatever you don't know what happened in the in the midst of that you want your family to be more concerned with you with you being protected with you being okay with you getting better versus them consistently um updating the fans you know, as the fans want to be updated, okay? So I love the fact that, again, he's responding to what y'all was, because y'all was messy. Y'all were messy. He's cloned. He ain't here. And look at him. He's still here and getting better. Uh, now, you know, by being quiet, sometimes things, you know, get out of hand. People saying what I got. Some people said I was, I was blind, but as you can see, uh, as you can see, the eyes are working. The eyes are working just fine. Because people, and when I say people, even Torrey, who is a journalist, who y'all know, the black man with the little, you know what I'm saying, crow yabber or whatever, uh, Torrey, he was one saying, Jamie Bob, he, he on the deathbed. He on the deathbed. You then had somebody else saying he was, he was blind, he's paralyzed. And so he like, I heard y'all talking. I heard y'all saying these things. I can see. I can cross my eyes and dot my T's. Uh, I said I was paralyzed. I'm not paralyzed. As we see him moving around, we don't know. We don't see it. Well, we've seen him walking um, and doing things out and about a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But him saying I'm not paralyzed. Now, what I will say is that does not mean he did not have issues being mobile, you know, for a while. And sometimes not being able to to easily walk around does not mean you're paralyzed, but you sometimes have to be careful and just walk a little bit slower until you build your strength back up. When I had COVID, I couldn't walk, you know what I'm saying, a lot. Because I got dizzy, I got I got tired, my legs got weak. So, you know, I'm sure whatever happened with him, you know, he is he said I wasn't paralyzed. I'm not I can, I'm not paralyzed. But you know, it could have been something else. Uh, but I did go through I went to hell and back. And my road to recovery uh, had some potholes as well, but um, I'm, uh, I'm 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 coming back, and uh, I'm able to work. So I want to thank uh, uh, the people that let me work, um, and I just want to like say uh, I, that I that I, I love everybody, and I love all of the love that I got. Mm, he get emotional, y'all. And man, you know. I know they talk about people crying on videos. You know, you could do take two, but I'm not gonna do a take two. This is, it is what it is. And if you see me out uh, from now on and every once in a while, I just burst into tears is because um, it's been tough, man. I was sick, man, but now I got my legs out, uh, under me. So you're gonna see me out. See that part right there, him said I got my leg up under me. I feel like that means, and opinion, y'all opinion, that he was sick, he was weak for a time, had to get his strength back up to get back on his feet. Um, as he said, he's been to hell and back. And people don't know when you be sick or whatever, sometimes you so sick, you don't even remember how sick you was, okay? And you kind of watch things back and, and hear conversations. You're like, I was that sick or damn, okay? But him, him just saying how he went to hell and back, how hard it was how he's trying to get back to us again. I'm just happy he's back or wherever, back, um, you know, able to be in his elements, okay? And letting the fans know, I heard y'all, I was getting better. Uh, but like I said, I just want you to remember me for uh, the jokes that I crack, uh, the, the movies that I make, some of them good, some of them ain't. I think I got a good one out. Uh, the movie that's out right now was called They Clone Tyrone. It's a good movie. I'm going to review it tomorrow because I watched it tonight. It's on Netflix. It's a he did he did really well. Uh, and the songs that I sing, man. And then you know some people were talking about I'm clone. Well, check this out. 
Just kidding. Uh, not clone, man, but I, I'm here on earth because of some great people. I'm here on earth because of God, man. So I love all y'all. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here and let you know that uh, I'm on my way back in love. So for those of y'all who thought he was cloned, for those of y'all who thought he was gone, for those of y'all who kept just doubting that he was who he was and that's not really him and that's a stunt double and blah, 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 blah. I feel like, no, you know, he took time to just get a bit better. You know, he took time to get healthy. He took time to get his strength up. And I'm happy that he was able to, you know, come. Uh, let, me, let me show y'all. Because y'all, where, where, where he do? Where was it from? Where did it come? It came from his actual um, IG page. I want to show y'all so y'all can know that it was him. That it ain't no fakery, no foolery. Okay, you know what I'm saying? He ran out here. Okay, he put it up. And he put the caption, thank you a billion to everybody. But a long road with all the prayers, great people, and God got me through. And we see a lot of his friends, you know, tap the ground, Bucky Dineva, Michael B. Jordan, Cab on stage, Luda, Lala, Andy Martinez, Richard Webb Candy, I'm saying Samar, um, Brandy from oh Brandy Evans, who plays Mercedes on on uh P Valley. Girl, not Bishop Whitehead. Bishop Whitehead always get, get out of here, Bishop. Get out of here. Um, <laughs> The Rock, you know, there's so many because again, you know, so many people when you Harlow, um, so many people. I'm gonna scroll Chance Rapper, Joel Santana. So many people were concerns and this plan. And for me, I kept saying, I'm like, I don't need him to do a video right now, okay? And the fact that we've seen him out and about, I'm like, he out and about. He doing better. He getting better as he can. And once he's able to come and talk, he'll come and talk. And as we see in his own time, he did. And to me, he still sounds a bit winded. You know what I'm saying? He still sounds like he's getting his bearings about him. But he still sounds like Jamie Mother box okay so for anyone who was worried and wondering if they cloned jamie no they did not okay he was around there getting better and that's all that matters okay so let's continue to send him love now he had posted this as well um yesterday because he was out there working and i think in vegas uh you know how he worked with beat beat girl bet mgm i said bc um he said thank you for my bet mgm family <laughs> And great, a great few nights in Vegas. We got big things coming soon in the Fox. Okay, and again, little by little, he's doing things. As he said in the, in the video, that he's able to, um, you know, work a little bit here, work a little bit there. Again, he has the movie out called They Clone Tyrone. Okay, and this and that and that and this. So again, it's a good thing. Okay, it's a good thing. So I just want people to, to know he's okay. He's not, he's not gone. He gave y'all the, the, the video. Okay, he came and talked y'all as best he could in his own time. Now, it may have been 1 o'clock in the morning, Eastern time. <laughs> you know, it wasn't 8 p.m. <laughs> it was in the middle of the night. But the point remains is that he came around here and talked to us and let us hear him and let us see that he is here. Let us see and hear that he had a hard time. Now, I know we still do not have any idea what the actual medical situation was. That has not been released, but that's that man's business. No, that's his medical business. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that we don't know the exact situation to me does not matter. What matters is it was bad enough for him to be gone for three months. For him to need rehab. But if you look at his face, he looks, you know, like he's getting strengthened. I'm not saying look bad. Not saying that at all. Okay. His skin is real, you know what I'm saying, real lighter. But that happens a lot when you're in the hospital and you get an oxygen or whatever. Because that happened to me too. I, I came home, I was real, real light because of all the oxygen or whatever. 
But, you know, even the fact that his, you know, his hair is a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You can tell he's been through it, okay? He's coming back. And I'm not saying anything negative about how he looks. I'm just saying you can tell he's, you know, nourishing himself back to health, okay? This is based on how he used to look, you know. He also, he looks a bit smaller, you know, even from this little video, He's, he looks a little a little bit smaller. However, we're going to keep praying for him, and that's it, okay? Now, that's all I have for y'all, okay? I'll have more content up for y'all later on today. But again, I'm happy to hear from Jamie, okay? Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media at Ellie's Corner. Uh, like, wait, comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I got to go, y'all. I love you all. And peace be with everybody. I got to go. Bye.